Dozens of people gathered tonight in Bakersfield to call for justice in the Trayvon Martin case. Thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 11. I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Amanda Gomez. 23 ABC's Crystal Figueroa joins us live at the Liberty Bell, where demonstrators said enough is enough. Crystal? Jackie, Amanda, people I spoke with say they firmly believe that the shooting death of Trayvon Martin was racially motivated. And even though George Zimmerman is now a free man, they say they want to send a message across the country so that something like this doesn't happen again. There's nothing we can do about, you know, the past, but there is something that we can do about the future. If we just put our foot down now, okay, and take a stand and march and show this country, okay, we're not going to allow this to continue to happen. LD Foreman is one of dozens of demonstrators who showed up tonight in a march for justice. I believe that uh, me being here, okay, is something that I had to do. And that's something because of the fact that we've been going through this struggle for years. That struggle, he says, is being racially targeted. The NAACP says they believe George Zimmerman fatally shot teenager Trayvon Martin in part because he was black. And we're just standing for justice for Trayvon, uh, trying to push the, the Justice Department to be able to pursue the investigation and file charges of civil rights for the right to life that Trayvon Martin had. The Neighborhood Watch volunteer was cleared in the shooting death, and now the NAACP is hoping to make some changes in the law. We hope that it open up the eyes to, of the community, that legislation will change, that the stand your ground law in every state will change, and that the people will have the opportunity to have more of a voice um, in these particular cases. Demonstrators say young people right here in Kern County have been killed and justice hasn't been served. Neighborhood Watch, I, I think they're, it's a good idea, um, but again, it's a Neighborhood Watch. It's not, it's, you're not playing as uh, the law. You're playing as you're watching, you know, protecting each other. And this Saturday, the Reverend Al Sharpton is organizing what is being called the National Justice for Trayvon Day with rallies in 100 cities across the nation. Reporting live from downtown Bakersfield, I'm Crystal Figueroa, 23ABC.